So I'm going to make menudo. Yay! It has been guys i know you are tired of me saying it has been five years it has been six years but it has been at least three years since the last time i ate menudo and i will make of course a filipino version it's spanish you know uh, i boiled potatoes already oh sorry 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 and as you can see guys they are already finished <clears throat> because it's easier <laughs> it's easier when the potatoes are done before you yeah cook it and this I will add in the end uh, because it's already cooked see it should have been just half cooked but yeah I made a boo boo now uh, what I've learned in the culinary school when you boil potatoes just so the taste would be so good even uh, just so it would taste like it's steamed don't fill the whole pot with water guys because it will dilute the taste so instead of filling here you know they say it uh, on cooking they fill the whole pot don't um, just fill not f half filled or um, if you are watching it one fourth only as you can see there ain't much left see so because and then you can also use the water in that in your sauce because I washed and these potatoes guys they are organic so don't peel them no 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 uh, you have you need the nutrients in the skin when it comes to the potatoes the most nutrients are in the skin so eat those so I bought uh, I will show you this They are so cheap, guys. These are... No, they were not organic, but... Okay, sorry. But as you can see, they are Danish. And uh, that's why Danish are proud, guys. Because uh, I went to a gardener school only for, I, th I think, three months. And they are so proud of their uh, green greens, vegetables. Because they Denmark... Denmark farms. Danish farms do not use a lot of uh, pesticides, insecticides, you know, herbicides, some things like that. So you either buy organic or you buy Danish if you live here in Denmark. Then you are sure that there aren't many chemicals. So I thought it was organic. So, but yeah. But my carrots that I will add is Danish and organic so it's perfect um, this one I, I will just steam for some minutes uh, the same with uh, um, potatoes I will make two pots of course because of my vegan daughter and um, one for her and one for me and for my pot or my pot because I have more um, we'll have pork so what I will do is I will fry the pork there there with uh, salt and spices and I will fill Maria's pot here oh that's warm uh, <laughs> with a sliced vegetables and I will add like this I will use one bouillon cube some garlic powder some onion powder, one tablespoon, I always use one tablespoon, um, wild garlic, a can of tomato sauce, I thought I had more guys, uh, but I only had one, and salt to taste, paprika powder, or how do you say that? Do you say paprika powder? And of course my favorite, fried onions. Uh, you can use raw onions and raw garlic if you want. But they, they give me gas, guys. Not so attractive. <laughs> they give me gas. So I will, yeah, let's move on. Uh, guys, 
since my daughter doesn't have pork in her, I will put, um, this is vegetable butter. It has, it is lactose free and it, it, it has omega-3, vitamin D, yeah. It's vegetable butter. I will add it on her pot. Uh, about, yeah. It looks a lot, it's about two tablespoons, but yeah, since if I don't do it, then my daughter doesn't get any fats. It's not good. You know, uh, girls don't don't take away the fat so much. Uh, if if you have money and you can buy avocado uh, and nuts, eat those. Um, they are so good for you, or else you will lose your period, girls. You don't want that. Uh, you can be sick and when you lose your period yeah it's not good so yeah I will add that on her and mine sorry my god I'm horrible on mine I will have the pork um here looks a lot guys but since I'm the only one eating it it's better that I fry, fry everything so guys I yeah I have the pork here that's my pot and that is my daughter's pot and you will have one cube each. So good. So good. <laughs> I don't have a voice guys or I would have serenaded you a long time ago. It's a pity, you know they say there are so many Filipino uh, singers out there but I didn't get that gene guys. That's so, uh, that's a pity. Uh, you know, uh, what's that name? Baba, Bebat song. There's a Filipino in that, and um, that sweet Switzerland girl, Nicole. What's her name? What singer? Yeah, she is also. She has a Filipino, and you know Vanessa Hudgens. There are so many, but why did I'm tone deaf? I don't have any voice, so yeah. I will put the bullion on each. Yeah. And so wait. Yeah, I have a wait for that one um, because I will it it will be only vegetables and vegetables that don't need a lot of time. So I will begin with the pork, guys. Uh, so uh, this is one kilo. So that means always remember that one kilo of meat usually means one tablespoon of salt okay so and one tablespoon is about three teaspoons so always remember that uh, don't be too afraid of salt because if you are eating meat you need salt uh, you can also experiment with just using bouillon and spices. Uh, when I was doing the paleo diet, salt was not allowed, you know, it bloats you, but I, I peed a lot. Uh, yeah, maybe it's effective, but I peed a lot and I had lower tummy ache, so it was my bladder acting up, so that's not good too. So I will add, since I'm starting with the pork, 
tablespoon, one about a tablespoon onion powder. Yeah. Also a tablespoon of garlic powder. You can add any spice you want guys. This, these are only the ones you are use, usually oops, messy. Usually using when you're baking menudo. Um, it can be overwhelming, but yeah, you can't really change a lot when you call a, a dish something. You should really follow it. And I don't, we don't eat a lot of menudo, so I usually I follow the recipe. <coughs> so just let it fry and I'm using high heat guys because this is pork it should be cooked now if you like you can put oil in it but sorry it's so fatty guys so you don't need to just fry it okay I will add this would be our base so I would add the tomato sauce. I tried it again. The tomato sauce has also spices in it. So uh, hakkade, tomato, mikudo ota. So it's mashed or chopped tomatoes with with herbs. So I don't to add. I don't need to add basil, oregano, and and yeah, things like that, spices, and not spices, herbs, herbs, basil. So, so I had one bouillon cube here, oopsie, and salt, I got the last salt, so, now, we will add almost the same things. I will also add one tablespoon of salt in, in her pot, since I, I would add the potatoes and the carrots in her pot too. So, did I add this? No. Do so the same. For those of you who want measurements, just put one tablespoon of each spice. When I was younger, I was very anal about the measurement. I would use, I, I don't have it now, measuring spoons and that, no, it's not me that. You just eyeball it. It, it will make you less stressful in the kitchen guys if you just let yourself be and if you make a mistake it doesn't matter you can do it again or another time food should be enjoyed Okay. As you can see, no fat added. Ow! I heard you. You know what? Don't laugh, guys, okay? So, the noodle is really sliced. You should slice the potatoes. But I'm lazy. And it's less stressful for me if it's like this. <laughs> so I will just boil it. Boil, boil. I mean, I will just cook it like that. I added salt also in the potatoes. So I don't know if I recall this. 
A noodle. And a lot. myself this. Not good. Uh oh. And be careful. I will add a little bit of the sauce. Uh, in the meat, just to make it tender. Yeah. As you can see guys, I'm very handsome. I don't respect rules. <laughs> so I will add uh, the water from... I used when I cooked the tomatoes. You should do that guys too. Just to preserve all the vitamins. Uh, don't believe when you read some things like, oh, the vitamins are lost from the potatoes when we boil them. Did you get it? Did you get it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, don't believe it when they say, Ah, oh, you lose nutrients when you boil potatoes. Okay, if it's if that's true, then use use the water. No problem, right? So. This will just make the pork so tender. And I will cover it. So first you fry and then you boil. And it should be guys. Oh. Then I will add carrots. The carrots guys were so cheap. Cheap. Um, it was one kilo for five pounds, Danish pounds. It was on sale. I don't have a cutting board, guys, because I think cutting boards are nasty. So I usually just use. This um, plates, yeah. Anyways, look here, <laughs> guys. Uh, go to my. Oh, I would. I will link it here. I made a female bus driver fantasy video in my Patreon page, but I will link it here here watch it guys and I usually don't talk about my patreon page because it's but it's free for you to, to watch I usually link it right but yeah watch it uh, it was more like ASMR than patreon page so that's why I'm promoting it watch it um, it was an experience I had a fantasy experience before I open my channel, so um, and it's not only for men, guys. I uh, guess it's only it's also for women. So especially if you're bisexual or lesbian, but also if you are open-minded. So yeah, watch it. Uh, and I promise it's it's not vulgar. So and also go to my daughter's. Uh, channel art and beauty freak i will link it here and because she just posted a food spa sp food spa challenge so here link DIY. oh diy food spa diy video and also go to her ariaville 
channel and natural vegan 011 in natural vegan I, I usually it's me cooking but sometimes it's also hard so yeah anyways before I I'm just cutting slices I bought a cutting board which was uh, made of fiberglass because you know I'm OCD especially when there's meat involved I don't want to cross contaminate but then I thought ah, I can just cut on plate but be careful careful if you do it guys you can cut yourself mm. or if you want to use cutting boards and you don't have uh, because the fiberglass cutting boards are much more expensive so if you have wooden it's okay because it's natural and it's a natural it has natural fibers but you should label them one cutting board for each food food uh, like cutting board for veggies cutting board for fruits uh, cutting board for fish and yeah things like that uh, fish or meat it's the same uh, and chicken you should be so careful with chicken you don't want to get sick so but usually when I have meat I, I put it directly on the pot it's only when I'm cooking chicken that I wash it first in vinegar and yeah so you can put more carrots if you want uh, I'm just meat enough um, no pot holder I just washed the laundry guys I washed the laundry I just made and did the laundry so my daughter has it done hasn't ah oh god it's warm so I will put directly here now because there's no space. So ah. Yeah, you can cut it and dice, and dice it if you want, guys. I'm just lazy. And you know, when it comes to cooking, lazy is good. Because then you know you'll eat in just a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to stress. Because if you make it so complicated, guys, you won't ever cook. Just chill. Relax. It's just food. Whoa! Oh my mm -hmm. god. Sorry, sorry. I'm making a mess here. As you can see guys, uh, I have to... My, my dot is reminding me not to double dip. It's not the same food. As you can see guys, I used uh, all of the juice from the potatoes in both parts. So, you don't have to use just water. Then the, um, because if you do it, you will get some of the juice from the tomatoes. That's so good. Oh, maybe I should not taste that. That's neat. Oh, 
when you see the oil coming out see and we didn't even use oil then it's finished or at least you can taste it I I will wait more for that I don't think hey guys I would just like to show you how short I am guys we are sitting uh, standing on two stools from Ikea because our stove is yeah is a little bit higher Yeah, this is Maria's food and hers is just veggies and she has tasted it guys and it was uh, maybe saltier than I wanted uh, but it's delicious and her uh, carrot is al dente she doesn't like it when it's smushed right and yeah and she has the sauce I would also get from here later if my food is not enough not enough but yeah so hers is it was finished 20 minutes ago guys yeah that's that's vegan food for you it's easy guys it's easier than meat so they hear this and this one has been boiling for about one hour guys and you know the pork is you should cook it um, it's not as dangerous as uh, chicken but you, you will know that it's tender already when you do it like this with a knife and the skin separates easily then it's finished see so because you want it to be tender it's it's yeah it's more delicious when it's tender of course the meat was finished a long time ago about 20 minutes ago but wait for the skin to be really soft guys so you can eat it see so about one hour now the carrots it's okay that it's not al dente because when it comes to carrots guys it has more nutrients when it's cooked so but i do like crunchy veggies especially when i make videos for you guys so i'm also going to eat raw so I will just plate it for you guys. Picture? No. So guys, this I <laughs> so warm, hot. I just plated it and I placed two raw carrots because I will do an eating video for you guys and it's only for your entertainment that's why I'm eating that's why I'm eating it raw and I also put quite a few pork one two three four five six uh, and the veggies and two big tomatoes it's quite a lot guys because potatoes I mean potatoes <laughs> it's quite a lot of food because we're or soon off to work and yeah you can't starve <laughs> uh, when you are working physically so that's why and I do have some sauce here it's the same recipe as menudo I think it's just that I was so lazy not to dice this and not to dice this but it's the same guys uh, anyways <laughs> oh what will you add more maybe cheese uh, peas green peas you can also add that so it's so good maybe i will taste it just a little bit guys mmm ah. mmm so tender mmm good <laughs> <laughs> 